so uh, what were we doing yesterday uh, we defined banach space and we have seen the, we were trying to solve one example okay Okay, we were uh, proving that LPN is a Banach space. Did anyone try? Did anyone try that LPN, LPN, which we define like this, all those sequences in in the field K, such that norm of XP is finite, where where this is defined like this. Summation J runs from one to infinity, mod X J P one by P. Did anyone try it? Okay, if not, then I'll uh, give a, a rough uh, hint for you. Okay, rough sketch of the proof. So, what we will show that is take any uh, Cauchy sequence in LP. Let X mu be a Cauchy sequence in LP. Okay, what does this mean? This means this. So here the sequence is sequence of sequences, okay? Because X mu itself is a sequence. X mu is given by say X mu one, X mu two. This is itself a sequence. And so let me take mu equal to one first, then mu equal to two. So take mu equal to one, it will be this. For mu equal to two, it will be X two one x22 two, two, and so on okay so x mu x mu are sequences correct with and these these all satisfy this property they all satisfy this since i said that x mu is a cauchy sequence by the definition of cauchy sequence for all epsilon positive there exists and uh, and n a positive integer which depends on epsilon such that for all mu nu greater than equal to n epsilon we have norm x mu minus x nu p less than epsilon okay but what does this give you this will be summation uh, say j from 1 to infinity mod x mu j minus x nu j p one by p less than epsilon okay so you can you can write this inequality like this which is same as saying which is same as saying summation j equal to one to infinite oh so which is same as saying because all these are non-negative uh, scalars so all uh, non-negative real numbers, in fact, we will get this for all mu, nu greater than or equal to n epsilon and for all j in j plus, okay? Is this clear to everyone? Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, so, sir. so from here, we can write this we, we we can get this inequality okay what does this mean this means x mu j where j equal to one to infinity this is a sequence this is the cost c sequence this implies this is a uh, sorry i should say like this yeah yeah it's okay this is a Cauchy sequence. This is a yes. Cauchy sequence in K. And as I told you, we will take K equal to either R or C, okay? So 
so i should write this mu equal to 1 to infinity and this is a cauchy sequence for all j okay now it is clear so since k equal to r or c and both r and c are complete so because k is complete this sequence will converge to a point okay x mu j will converge to say aj okay where aj is in k and this is true for all j okay so now what you do you, you have a1 a2 a2 so means you are getting kadiye tune ha tumi istemal karo please mute yourself please mute yourself so this means you are getting a sequence okay call it x now your aim is to show that the sequence belongs to now our aim is to show that this sequence x belongs to lpn and norm x mu minus x p is less than epsilon okay so this means so so this means for for all mu greater than equal to some some n okay so we will prove this so we how do we prove this so we have this inequality see here we have this inequality okay now what you do is in this inequality let this mu goes to infinity so what you will get is let mu new, sorry new goes to infinity in this inequality x mu uh, j minus x new j less than epsilon okay in this inequality we are we are letting new goes to infinity we will get x mu j minus this will be x j uh, okay i i have written a j so write a j less than epsilon and this is true for all mu greater than equal to n epsilon see at this place for each epsilon there exists an n positive integer such that for all this this inequality holds okay so thus you did what you did you let new tending to infinity and you get this okay it is it clear is this clear to everyone yes sir okay yes, sir. then uh, from here what you will get is uh, so this means uh, so so we are taking uh, the speed on so right p okay so so this means summation j this means x new minus a uh, x new minus x where x new equal to x new 1 x new 2 and so on and x equal to a1 a2 and so on this belongs to lp so so far we we get this now you already know this x new was in lp lp was a linear space okay sum of two vectors is in again in lp this implies x which you can write x mu minus x new mu minus x this also belongs to lp okay so you get that the limit x is again in lp so hence lp is complete this implies lp and it's complete okay so lpn is a banach space
so i promised you that i will uh, give you a, an example of a normed space which is not completed okay which is not complete so an incomplete normed linear space Mm. An incomplete normed linear space. So, see, we have given here an example. L P N is a Banach space. Now, you see, these are spaces of sequences which satisfy some properties. Okay. Now, what you do? You take a subspace. We call that by C not not. We will denote that by C not not. What is this? This is all those sequences in K such that x j equal to zero. Uh, let me write like this. Such that there exists some K in z plus such that x j equal to zero for all j greater than equal to K. What does this mean? So this means, this means these sequences are eventually constant sequences and constant is zero. These are eventually zero sequences, okay? So aapke paas kya ho raha hai? Koi ek sequence li, jis mein say first one hai, then one by two, one by three, and then zero, zero, zero. All other terms are zero. After a certain stage, all terms are zero, okay? Such uh, so, this set of all such sequences is denoted by C not not. So, since there are in there are only finitely many finite numbers. Okay, since there are only uh, finitely non-zero numbers. Okay, and and uh, you know some of finite number is also finite. So this means. Summation mod if if x belongs to C not not, then <coughs> summation x j p is all finite. Why? Because after a certain stage, all terms are zero. Okay, given finite hai or finite terms ka finite hoga. So this means this C not not is a subset of LP. Okay. Is this clear to everyone? Yes, sir. So, yes, sir. If you add any two vectors x, y in C not not, you will get this sum x plus y is again in C not not. Okay. If you take any scalar from K, okay, any scalar alpha, and and take any vector x in C not not, then alpha x is also in C not not. So this these two property gives that C not not is a subspace vector subspace. Okay, subspace of L P. Okay, so in fact it is a proper subspace. In fact. It is a proper subspace. Okay, can you give me an example? Uh, okay, can you give me an example of a sequence x which is in C not not but x not in say L one? Can you give me uh, one such example? Ah, uh, x here and x. Uh. Excuse me, sir. Ah, uh, sir, sir, what is uh, subspace? Subspace, acha. Subspace means vec. Apne vector space padha hai? Vector subspace nahi padha hai? Yes, the uh, so vector subspace. Uh, yes, sir. Ah, uh, so suppose we have a. A vector space x over a field k and y is a subset of x okay 
then we call y a subspace if y itself a vector space with respect to the uh, vector addition which is induced from x and uh, scalar multiplication again induced from this vector space okay agar y khud ek vector space hai use subspace kehte hain to aapke liye aapne ek characterization padha hoga subset y of a vector space is a subspace if for all x comma y in y and alpha in k such that alpha x plus y in y ye padha ye alpha x plus y in y ko maine yahan par likha hai alpha x plus y theek hai yes sir so can you give me one such example one example of a sequence which is not in c not not but which is in l1 n ओके okay, आपने एक पी सीक्वेंस पढ़ी होगी सॉरी पी सीरीज पढ़ी होगी तो व्हाट इज एल वन एन एल वन एन इज सेट ऑफ ऑल सीक्वेंसेस इन के एन सच दैट समीशन मॉड एक्स जे इज फाइनाइट ओके सो हियर इज एन एग्जांपल टेक एक्स इक्वल टू वन बाय जे वन बाय जे स्क्वायर ओके जे रंस फ्रॉम वन टू इनफिनिटी you must have seen this in your real analysis course that this sum is finite okay this means this x belongs to l1 but this does not belongs to c not not because each term of this uh, sequence is non zero okay jabki c not not mein hame kya chahiye ek finite samay ke baad sare terms zero hone chahiye okay aisa yahan nahi hai so now i will give you an uh, i will give you a cauchy sequence in c not not which is not convergent in c not not so what i will give you a cauchy sequence in c not not which is not convergent okay this will show you that c not not is not complete means it is not a banach space करेक्ट जबकि ये क्या था एक नॉर्म डिस्प्लेस था ओके सो लेट एस सी सो टेक एक्स म्यू इक्वल टू ओके हमें क्या चाहिए एक सीक्वेंस एक्स सो टेक एक्स वन इज दिस सीक्वेंस एक्स वन इज वन कॉमा जीरो 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 एक्स टू इज वन कॉमा वन बाई टू स्क्वायर कॉमा जीरो कॉमा जीरो 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 एक्स थ्री इज वन वन बाई टू स्क्वायर टू स्क्वायर वन बाई थ्री स्क्वायर एंड सो ऑन सो यू आर गेटिंग दिस ओके सो एक्स जे इज वन वन बाई टू स्क्वायर One by j square, and all the terms are zero. Clearly, this sequence x n, okay, n goes to one to infinity, is a Cauchy sequence. So, this is an exercise proof that this is a Cauchy sequence. And clearly, this sequence all all x n are in C not not, and this sequence converges to this converges to this series 1 upon n 1 upon j okay 1 upon j square sorry 1 upon j to the power ah uh, j square j runs from 1 to infinity okay so xn converges to this sequence uh, this series which is clearly finite okay but you know this what i'm saying i should write like this xn converges to 1 1 by 2 square 1 by 3 square 1 by 4 square and so on no terms are zero okay no terms are zero so clearly this 
does not belong to C not not. So this means C not not is not complete. Norm space. Okay. So there are many other examples which are not norm, which are not complete norm spaces, but they are norm spaces. Okay. So this means there are examples which are not Banach spaces, but but are norm spaces. Is this clear to everyone? Say so, yes. Ah. So here is an exercise for you. So suppose C A B denotes the set of all continuous functions from the closed interval A B to uh, such that f is continuous okay from a b to the field k then so that with respect to point y the addition and uh, scalar multiplication it is a linear space and so that number a so that x goes to mod uh, a to b mod x t dt this is a norm supremum mod x t where t belongs to a comma b so that a and b these are norms okay so that a and B are norms on CAB. Also, so that A is an incomplete norm. Okay, A is an incomplete, incomplete norm, and B is a complete norm. This is an exercise for you. Okay. So now we come to another notion. So when you were uh, you were uh, studying vector spaces, okay. So you must have seen linear transformation. You must have seen linear transformation. Can anyone recall what that linear transformation is? Hello. So if you remember, uh, I, I'm recalling a definition of the definition of linear transformation. सर आपने खुद को म्यूट कर दिया शायद यस सर यू आर नॉट ऑडिबल Sir, you are not audible. Okay, 
Uh, wait few minutes. Might be there some connection error. Just a minute. Okay, ma'am. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. There was a problem with my network. Please, please allow me to share my screen. Hello. Please yes, allow sir. me to share my screen. Hello. You are audible, sir. Yeah, I am audible, but I'm, I can't. Done. Here, but you have a small topic. What are sir, electrolytes you... and types sir, of? Sir, you can continue, sir. Okay. But... Now you are closed. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is my screen visible? Yes, sir. 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 We have two vector spaces x and y in a field k, k over a field k. A function is linear called linear transformation if it preserves the the vector addition and scalar. Please mute yourself. Preserve the algebraic operation means these two. It satisfies these two properties. Okay. So yes. Okay. So now uh, you all know what the uh, range of uh, t. What is the domain of t? You all know uh, these things. Okay. Now you must have seen uh, bounded function uh, in your real analysis. Here we also uh, have a notion of bounded linear transformation, but these two notions are totally different. Okay, पहले मैं आपको bounded functions बताता हूँ. वो क्या था? वो आपने क्या देखा था? तो कभी भी इससे दोनों में confuse मत होना. Okay, so bounded function. So suppose we have a function f from a metric space say. Uh, say v to a metric space w so i am saying metric space okay so so v and w are metric spaces v and w are metric spaces so f from v to w is bounded if f v so if d of f v one comma f v two is always less than equal to m, okay, for all v one comma v two in v for a fixed m positive, okay. So this means this there exists an a positive m such that the distance between f v one and f v two is always less than a fixed positive number m. Okay, so this is bounded function. So in 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 case of R, in case of R, what do you say? 
a function f from r to r is bounded if mod of fx is less than m for all x in r uh, okay let me write is bounded if there exists m positive such that this happens okay so this is bounded function so here we are defining bounded linear operators or linear transformation please see the difference okay do not confuse about these two notions okay so now we are coming to another notion bounded linear transformations or sometimes we call it operators most of the time we call it operators okay so linear transformation and linear operators both are same let x and y be two so when we use boundedness then you see we need a notion of metric we need a notion of metric for saying boundedness we need a notion of metric in an arbitrary vector space you can't say something is bounded but if it is a non linear space then you can definitely say something is bounded okay so therefore we will take x and y to non linear spaces okay be to non linear spaces dhyan dijiye kahan par aap kya kiski baat kar sakte hain theek hai ye dhyan rakhna hai aapko and t from x to y be a linear operator be a linear operator okay the operator t is said to be bounded if there exist a non negative number non negative number number c so this means c could be greater than c c could be greater than equal to b okay such that for all x in x what we have norm tx so this norm is in y is less than equal to c norm x this norm is in x सी जो ये लेफ्ट वाला पार्ट है यहाँ पर जो नॉम है वो जो वाई के साथ नॉम है वो है बिकॉज यू नो टी एक्स दिस वेक्टर लाई इन दॉम स्पेस वाई एंड एक्स लाई इन वेक्टर स्पेस एक्स सो इफ इफ टी सेटिस्फाई दिस इन इक्वलिटी देन वी से टी इज बाउंडेड अब यहाँ पर देखिए आप डिफरेंस है दोनों में फंक्शन का बाउंडेडनेस कहने में और लीनियर ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन का बाउंडेडनेस कहने में ओके नाउ लेट अस सी सम इंप्लीकेशन ऑफ दिस बाउंडेड लीनियर ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन क्या इंप्लीकेशन है ओके okay, कल हमने बात करी थी आपके साथ बाउंडेड सेट की बात करी थी हमने इफ एक्स is a norm space okay then how did you define a, a bounded set f in x is said to be bounded if please complete kya hona chahiye tha हेलो नहीं बाउंडेड की बात करूं मैं बाउंडेड इट इज कंप्लीट कोई हाँ इफ क्या होना चाहिए इट इज कंप्लीट इट इज सोच के बताइए इट मस्ट बी सेटिस्फाई ऑल दी क्वेश्चन दैट वी हैव अच्छा हम हम रियल नंबर लाइन में किसी सेट को बाउंडेड कब कहते हैं 
when this will close enclose in it enclosed in when over the line over the line to line itself enclosed in line na kya r itself bounded hai nahi hai no sir to kab kahenge jab humko kuch ek कल किसी ने कुछ सुप्रीम बोला था वो आज नहीं है क्या सर इन्फिमम और सुप्रीम इन्फिमम और सुप्रीम एग्जिस्ट करेगा फाइनाइट होना चाहिए ठीक है तो इसका मतलब हमें कोई एक नंबर एम मिलेगा सच दैट मॉड एक्स लेस देन एम के हैं तब हम कहेंगे कि वो वो सेट फाइनाइट है वो सेट बाउंडेड है सो सिमिलरली इन केस ऑफ नॉर्म डिस्पेस a set f is said to be bounded if norm x is less than equal to m for all x in f if this happens then we say it is bounded okay now let us look at the definition of bounded linear operator ye bounded linear operator ki definition thi okay now we what you do you take a bounded set take a bounded set in x to so, iska matlab aapne ek set f liya bounded set uski property kya hai is less than equal to m for some fixed for some fixed m greater than 0 and for all x in f okay now what can you say about the image of this bounded set what can you say about the image of bounded set in in x will the image set bounded in y let us see so by definition tx y is less than equal to c norm x ओके okay? अगर हम ये x इस बाउंडेड सेट से उठाते हैं तो ये क्या मिलेगा नॉम x इज लेस देन इक्वल टू m करेक्ट यस सर सो दिस मीन दिस इज लेस देन इक्वल टू c डॉट एम सी इज ए फिक्स नंबर m इज आल्सो m m इज आल्सो ए फिक्स नंबर फॉर फॉर ऑल x इन f दिस मींस व्हाट डू यू Uh, what can you say you you will say that bounded linear operator maps bounded sets to bounded sets okay this means implications what is this is one implication okay implication so bounded linear operators maps bounded sets to bounded set okay correct then you see we we can we can also define norm of a operator we can define norm of a operator okay so here what you have tx less than equal to cx for all x in x okay for a bounded operator we have this thing this c is fixed for all x okay this is a fixed uh, non negative number so here is a question okay? so if x is non zero i don't know yaar me give me give me smallest c which satisfies this for all for all non zero x in x find least number c which satisfy this thing okay so minus 1 ha huh? so whatever the least you will get that is called norm of bounded operator that is called norm of bounded operator the norm of bounded operator so how do you how 
we define it like this supremum of x in x x non zero ye humne liya hai norm tx by norm x okay yahan par maine least ka aata hai iska matlab supremum kya hota hai greatest lower uh, sorry least upper bound supremum is least upper bound सुप्रीमम का दूसरा नाम है लीस्ट अपर बाउंड ओके यस सर लीस्ट अपर बाउंड सो ऑल सो ऑल नंबर विच आर ग्रेटर देन सी आर अपर बाउंड फॉर दिस एक्सप्रेशन और और दिस नंबर ओके वी आर सीकिंग द लीस्ट वन दैट इज कॉल्ड सुप्रीमम एंड व्हाटएवर दैट सुप्रीमम विल बी वी नेम इट द नॉर्म ऑफ द बाउंडेड ऑब्जेक्ट ओके so why are we taking x non zero because two things because of two things agar x zero hoga what is t zero t zero is always zero and you cannot divide zero by zero okay this is an indeterminacy form yes sir infinity so, therefore we are taking x non okay is this correct yes, yes sir, sir. Uh, so here what so i'll give you an exercise for you because uh, i can't prove it or i can't solve it uh, I, i don't have that much time so here is an exercise so let x and y be two uh, normed linear spaces normed linear spaces then then the set of all bounded linear operators okay operators represented by bxy denoted by bxy okay is again a linear space to with and the function from bxy to r greater than equal to 0 defined by norm t which is equal to supremum of norm tx so yahan par ये y का नाम है और ये x का नाम है सच दैट x इन x एंड x नॉन जीरो दिस इज ए नॉम दिस इज ए नॉम ऑन बी एक्स वाई सो दिस मीन्स फ्रॉम x एंड y यू हैव फाउंड वन मोर normed linear space that is bxy this bxy is itself a linear space and this function is norm on bxy to aapne kya kiya agar aapko yaad ho linear algebra mein aapke paas do vector space hote the un vector space ki madad se aap ek aur vector space banate the to yahan par aapne do normed space hai unki madad se ek naya normed space aapne banaya theek hai and one more thing also prove that also so that this norm t is same as yahan par maine supremum ke form mein se likha hai this is same as infimum c positive such that tx is less than equal to c norm x for so this norm is in y this is in x for all x in x so this means uh, norm t you can define like this or you may define like this both are same okay is this clear yes sir yes. Okay. so uh, one more thing i i will uh, prove for you i will show you that if we have two normed spaces and suppose we have a 
linear transformation okay then uh, can you say uh, so you you have you are given a linear transformation then can you say is it bounded so here is a result for you केवल आपको लीनियर ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन दिया हुआ है तो क्या आप कह पाएंगे कि ये बाउंडेड है ओके फॉर दिस हियर इज रिजल्ट सपोज टी फ्रॉम एक्स टू वाई इज अ लीनियर ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इज अ लीनियर ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ओके बिटवीन टू नॉम लीनियर स्पेसेस तो नॉम लीनियर स्पेस तो जरूर होना चाहिए दोनों को बाउंडेड कहने के लिए yes, वेक्टर स्पेस होगा तब नहीं कह पाएंगे ओके okay? नहीं कहेंगे राइट सर टू नॉम लीनियर स्पेसेस ओके देन इफ 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 एक्स इज फाइनाइट डायमेंशनल एक्स इज फाइनाइट डायमेंशनल देन टी इज बाउंडेड ओके सो डू यू रिमेंबर व्हाट द फाइनाइट फाइनाइट डायमेंशनल स्पेसेस ये आपने लीनियर अल्जेब्रा में पढ़ा है वेक्टर स्पेस में एक फाइनाइट डायमेंशनल वेक्टर स्पेस क्या होता है सही यस हाँ याद है कुछ आपने बेसिस पढ़ी होगी सही यस पढ़ी पढ़ी है क्या होता है कोई हाँ बताएंगे सर वी डोंट हैव रिमेम्बर यू डू नॉट रिमेम्बर दैट ओके कोई बात नहीं सो एसेट सो एसेट से मैं उसको कैसे डिनोट करूं से ई से डिनोट कर देता हूं ओके एसेट ई इन एक्स इज कॉल्ड बेस इज नंबर वन इज लीनियरली इंडिपेंडेंट अब ये तो आप जानते हैं लीनियरली इंडिपेंडेंट सेकेंड ई स्पेंस एक्स आई आई होप यू यू नो दिस ओके अगर ये नहीं है तो आप इसको फिर से आप पढ़िए और पता कीजिए कि बेसिस क्या है ओके सपोज सो हियर we are saying x is a finite dimensional so we say a vector space is finite dimensional if the cardinality of its basis is a finite okay if the cardinality of e is finite then x is called a finite dimensional space ओके, okay. तो so, इसको और भी तरीके से आप कह सकते हैं अगर इसके पास एक एक सबसेट है जो कि ओके सो ई कैन बी यू कैन से ई इज बेसिस इफ इट इज अ मैक्सिमल लीनियरली इंडिपेंडेंट सेट ओके और इट कैन बी सेट दैट ई इज अ बेसिस इफ इट इज अ मिनिमल सबसेट विच स्पेंस एक्स You can say like this, okay? So, बहुत तरीके से आप बोल सकते हैं सो नाउ इट इज गिवन दायमेंशन ऑफ एक्स इज फाइनाइट सो सपोज दिस इज फाइनाइट से एन सो दिस मीन्स वी हैव ए बेसिस ई एक्स वन एक्स टू एक्स एन इज ए बेसिस ओके दिस मीन्स एनी वैक्टर ऑफ एक्स कैन बी रिटर्न एज ए लीनियर कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ दिस वैक्टर्स फ्रॉम ई okay alpha i from k x i from e you can write this and t is a linear operator so at t both side what you get this implies t x equal to some mean alpha i t x okay you will get this ah main ye kya likh raha hu sorry some mean alpha i t x i i equal to 1 to n okay you get this now what you do you take norm of txi and take some 1 to n call it k k 
okay this will be a finite number now norm tx equal to summation i 1 to n norm alpha i tx i okay using the property of norm it will be summation i 1 to n alpha i mod norm tx i okay alpha i ko aap yahan par dekhiye aapke paas alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha n hai to isme se aap maximum wale le lijiye maximum ek le lijiye se uska naam aap keh dijiye say alpha not is the maximum so say alpha not is the maximum of mod alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha n so this is less than equal to uh, alpha not sum norm t x i i range from 1 to n where alpha not is this so which is same as mod alpha not sorry mod alpha, alpha not and some of this you have already defined like k okay so so this means you, you you get this and this is true for all x so since all norms in a finite dimensional space are okay so we we need something here uh, so so this was an so here what we did uh, we we take this norm as a bounded norm okay here we we, we get that this norm is bounded so you will learn this in next class that any two norms any two norms in finite dimensional space are equivalent i think uh, dilip will uh, teach you this okay so 